So we've done a lot of work now, and let's kind of just start putting everything together slowly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, we're going to now apply some materials just to we, so we can get a good sense of what we're working with. I am going to turn on the glass again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a PBR materials pack from the 3d-wolf.com. Now they've released this PBR materials three, super simple to use. Uh, and let's go through installing it into Blender. So you download it and you get the zip file. Now to install the zip file or to install the shader, you go file, user preferences, install add-on from file. Okay. I've gone to where I've saved it. It's still in its zip format, which is what we want. Don't unzip it. Just leave it in its zip format. Install add-on from file. And then we're going to go up here and click PBR. I'm going to enable it and then save user settings so I don't have to re-import it next time or reinstall it next time. So let's start off. I'm just going to go start off at the top of the list. So select the Bezier curve um, and I'll go back and I'll rename these after. So these are some cables. I would say these are probably some sort of rubber type cables. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to tick PBR shader. And I'm going to click on the picture. And I know there's a rubber one in here. This one here. So I'm going to put that as a rubber cable. And I kind of want to set the colors as well. Just so we're in this viewport, we can see colors. I'm going to select the base color. Go to hex. Copy that number. And so when I come down into the viewport color, I can paste that in there. And now we've instantly got that color in there. I just want to name this material, so I'm just going to control left click on there and call it rubber. Okay, next on the list, what do we got? It's kind of these, click new. I would say that this would be kind of a plastic, I want to say an acrylic, let's say plastic, not a red color though. What shall it be? What shall it be? I do want a kind of a, a grayer, gray ship. So once again, I'm gonna click on hex, copy, viewport color. And so that's what we got so far. I'm just gonna select that, do a control N just to flip those normals. Um, if I go into rendered view, we can kind of see what we've got so far. So we've got the, the black tubes we've done, this bit here we've done. Obviously, our lights we pre-did earlier and this back area we pre-did. Let's go into back into cube. Let's go to the next one. Go back into solid. So we've got these pieces here, which will probably be some sort of metal. Um, we would call this metal. Did I name this material? I did not. We will call this oh, body. Let's just call it the body color. So we'll come back down here. Let's put it into a, a metal. Not a pot one. Hmm. Aluminium. Aluminium is a good steel color. And I will take that. Put that in there. Okay. And so we're just going to kind of go down the list. These ones, these plates here could probably be body. And we've got this grill part here. I reckon I might just make that the steel color or metal. What do we got in here? These are the chairs. Mm, I don't think we've got a material for some sort of leather or something. Let's have a look. Bark, brick, coal, concrete, carbon. Hmm. <laughs> Could be a jerk and just put on just put rubber on. It can be rubber seats for now. But I will we'll call this though chair. And let's make it a bit of a brown color. Don't know why seats have to be brown, but let's just keep with the kind of leather feel. But I think we'll probably come back and change this afterwards. 
Okay, what's in this next bit? Next bit is these inside bits. Now, I did have a play, and I was a fan of... I'm just going to go Asphalt. <laughs> Whoa, whoops, let's go back. Ah, oh, Z, Control-Z. There we go. And we'll put that back in the viewport color. And so we're kind of just going down the list. Now, I originally had this, had a feeling of steel, but I might actually just put that as the body because then you got this piece and when we get to this piece all together, what do we got now? What's this piece? That is our old engine. Let's get rid of it because we don't need that anymore. All right. So we've got engine glow, engine supports. I might put this one as metal. So this bit here will be metal. Cylinder two, cylinder three. So we've got these pipes here. Now, technically, I could put them as the body. But I kind of, I do want something a little bit different, something a little bit more stands out. So maybe let's just put them as carbon. And we're slowly making our way through this here. I reckon I might make that carbon as well. Well, what material we'll call that? Carbon. Where am I? Here we go. I would like that to be carbon. These pipes here, these metal things, let's just go metal. Mm. I'm not going to make them stand out, so I'm just going to go body on them. This inside bit, I will go asphalt which I think is this one because I didn't name that properly. Um, body int human human, human, human. Now, ah, this one's a bit of a tricky one. So we can go new transparent. And now if I go into rendered view, it's going to look normal which is not right it's meant to look really weird huh so I was doing tests why is it all weird well why is it correct I mean ah there we go so on my tests I had it wrong so the question is, is why is it incorrect? Ah, it's incorrect. So no, I have no idea why. I think because there's no solidifier modifier on this one, but this one has. So it's actually kind of glass rather than just a layer, let's just say. So glass frame. So that's this bit. I would like that one to be a metal. Uh, that can be the body trim, body int. That can be body int. Now let's leave that one because that's a glow and this one's going to be body. And there we have it. So let's have a look. The lighting isn't the best, so let's just go up to lamp, change that to sun, use nodes. Let's just bump it up a little bit to two. And just so very quickly, you can see that I think it actually looks really nice. Um, I think these parts are a little bit too shiny, but we can fix that up afterwards. But overall, now that we've started putting some materials together, we can actually see that it's coming together. Um, we can see some, obviously, some design flaws. Like, really, this probably could be done a little bit better. Shouldn't be here. I would say that this should have come all the way back down. But we can say that that's a different model. In the other models, there's a second 
set of seats in there, blah, blah, blah. Um, but what we might do is in the next bit of, next bit of modeling, we might just put some like compartments in here so they open up, or maybe we'll just open that up altogether. And then so you can put stuff in there like a boot, because obviously we don't have a boot. Um, we can see that the interior looks quite nice. We might replace this afterwards with a kind of like an image that glows over the top. And, you know, we can put um, sensory stuff in on there so it looks nice rather than just a plain color. It's almost a bit of a cheat way. But, I mean, the ash vault on the inside looks fine. Um, we'll fix all these, try and get rid of all these little dots, but yeah, I like the way the ship is progressing.